Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I also stream over here occasionally as well. Today's video is a level 5 Patreon tier movie request from Ryan, and the movie he wants me to watch is Get Carter from 1971. This is another one of those films that I have never even heard of before, so I am really excited to watch. I did see that Michael Caine is the main character, and I am always up for some Michael Caine and some movies. But other than that, I have no idea what this movie is about, so let's get on into it. So thank you so much to Ryan for subscribing at that tier over on Patreon and requesting for me to watch this film. I hope you specifically enjoy this reaction. And to everybody else over on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel you can absolutely do so over on my patreon it is five dollars a month for that i also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls which are ran every single friday and that is two dollars a month for that so yeah i'm sure that this movie is going to be a pretty good time i don't really even know what it's about at all so with that let's dive on into this really do hope that you guys like this reaction and i shall see you on the other side enjoy <laughs> Look at him, though. Oh, my goodness. We don't want you to go up the north, Jack. What are you going for? To find out what happened. Look, your brother's dead and gone. Oh. They're hard nuts up there, Jack. Okay, his brother's dead, so... Revenge for his brother? <laughs> Operation Get Carter. Margaret? Why the hell aren't you here? Now listen, Mark. Hmm. Wow. That's... I feel like that's not a good idea, huh? Oh. Okay. Useful to have, probably. Depending on what you're doing and <laughs> if you should be here or not, or if you're trespassing. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Guessing that's his brother. Why are they just keeping him here, though? Any coffin, good lord. Tight. Wow, alright, so I guess he was fine to be there in that place. That really is Sorry. like that's a that's a tiny coffin. Right, that's crazy. Did the police say anything? They said he was drunk. Yeah, they keep circling around. So far, everything is sort of just like vague, a little bit slow moving, kind of vague, kind of just like what's gonna happen, you know? That's how I'm feeling, at least. You work with a bloke for six bloody years. Oh my all the God, time he's calm far. and gentle Jesus. Then he goes and does a thing like that. Suspicious as hell. We therefore commit his body to be consumed by fire. Ensure and oh, okay, that might be why it's uh, as small as it is. And the morgue right below the church, wow. Uh, Margaret, come back. How old are you? Who killed Frank, Margaret? I don't know anything about it. Oh, so that's not his brother. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I want to talk to you later. Tomorrow morning, then. 12 o'clock on the Iron Bridge. Yeah, I don't know about that. Then who's this man? <laughs> you don't suppose he might have done it on purpose? No, Frank killed himself, get him me. I mean, his daughter's right here, so... What for? He was a bloody good bloke, one of the best. Oh, you? Who are you? Who are you? None of you knew. I knew. You was my dad. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Let her go. Let her go. If anyone comes in and asks for me, you let me know, right? Yeah, all right. Do you know a man called Albert Swift? Yeah, he comes in here a bit. Where would I find him? Today? But the races, he always goes. Five to two of the field. Five to two. Uh-oh. Well, goodbye hot dog and gotta go. 
Gray suits you, Eric. Jack, Jack Carter. Eric. Eric. Oh! <laughs> his last name is Carter. Okay. I thought his brother's name was Carter. Okay. All right. Get Carter. Yeah. You think you could see why I'm confused. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So who are you working for these days, Eric? Oh, I'm straight. Come off it, Eric. Uh-oh. Who is it? What's it to you anyway? Well, I've always had your welfare at heart, Eric. 16, full arrow, 20 to 1. Following him right away. Hey, those people in that blue car will be coming back. Uh, soon, probably. Oh, all right. Yeah, okay, sturdy enough. Gonna knock him the fuck out. <laughs> Good night. Hey. Hey. Uh. Wow. That was okay. I'm bold. Carter's here. I don't know. You stupid shit. What? Who? <laughs> Eric. Uh, told me of your bereavement. Nasty way to go. Hmm. I think you had something yes. to do with it. But you're going soon. Soon. When you lost your money. Won't take long. Clever side, aren't you? <laughs> Go on, you're pulling my leg. I have to. Things to do. Of course, of course. Oh, okay. Well, any time. Just drop by. Yeah, I'll do that. What was the point of his visit, then? I don't like that. You should have told me who you were working Cyril for. Cyril didn't like it, either. I Cyril guess just to see, girls. yeah. Yeah, I guess it really was solely just to see if that guy was lying. Why can't I? I they just said his name before. Oh, my God. This is my brother's car. Well, he drove it into the river. How'd it happen then? He was drunk. Hmm. Drunk as a lord. Guess we'll see. Sounds a little fishy. Heard of a man called Thorpe. Wondered if I knew where he was staying. Ah. He wants to look you up. What did you tell him? No. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. You kissed my man! Wow, that was... <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was left for you this evening. My brother Frank. Is he staying the night? Okay. So that is confirmed. Brother Frank. Brother Frank. Not Carter. Carter's his last name. I know that now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I miss you. I fancy you. Oh? I wish I was touching you now. Oh, wow, all right, okay. Right now. Take your bra off. <sighs> Not Michael Caine talking dirty over the phone. I'm for boobs. Boobs, yep. And then this lady is just like, oh, this sounds good. <laughs> oh, oh. What's the matter, you got gut trouble or something? No, darling. Just do my exercises. Mm. Listen, oh. Janet. Uh, Giles just walked in. Oh, Must man. You have fun, too. <laughs> Thorpe, they were waiting for us in the car park. How many? Four of them. Oh, wow. What do you want to tell me, Thorpe? I've been asked to give you this. What happens if I miss the train? Well, I've been asked to make sure you don't. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Right, all that. Uh oh, uh oh. Damn. Getting a little bit of road rash. Damn. Okay. Oh, he's booking it. Okay. Go, Michael. Go. Or go, Jack. Go. <laughs> yeah. So that plan just like epically failed. I mean, good attempt, I guess. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a bit silly to go into an enclosed area. <laughs> oh my god. Again, I guess a good attempt. <laughs> Have you no thought for others? We're going inside. Inside? Why should I give the house room to your sort? Up the stairs, Keith, the door on the right. Everybody oh, knows okay. you, Edna Garfoot. 
Everybody knew there'd be trouble when you moved in. You keep your mind your business, damn. Who paid you to see me off? Well, I can't, Jack. How can I? Yes, you can. Oh, God, Jack! <laughs> God! Who sent you? Uh, uh, Ruby! Where's he living these days? He's got a new place at Burnham. Can I go now? Oh, you must be joking. Yeah. Keep him away from the telephone. I'm going out for a bit. Wow. Yep. All right. So just get the information, move on to the next. Definitely a kind of slow build up, but it's paying off. It's working. Oh, oh, goodbye. Don't throw up on the fish. Jesus, wet. Don't get mad. Oh, murder the little bitch. Oh. You went all over my bloody goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to kick him into the goldfish. Okay. What the bloody hell's all this? Do you know what the bloody time is? It's two o'clock in the bloody morning. I know. I made a mistake. What? I made a mistake. What about? Never mind. <laughs> it's He's not so business. confusing sometimes. See you. Listen, I don't what? like it when some... <laughs> oh, damn. Good night, Mrs. Bramby. Okay. <laughs> it keeps going places and just making himself known. You know, he's not doing much. He's just appearing and slapping people around or just just pop and say hello. Just trying to find out some minor information. It's funny, honestly. It's like, what was the point? <laughs> they came back. What about the lad? They took him away. Oh. What are you going to do? Pension him off. You're a bastard. What am I supposed mm. to do? I don't know where they've taken him. Uh... Okay. <laughs> this movie is interesting. Some odd things, truly. Oh, there you go. Did you sleep well? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, boy. Damn. How was the door open? First minute, Jack. Sorry about this, Jack, but, you know, orders are orders. And what orders would they be, Con? Well, oh. Gerald phoned us up in the middle of the night. Uh. Now. Ah. Come on, Jack, put it away. You know you won't use it. <laughs> the gun, he means. <laughs> oh, my Out. God. He doesn't even care. He's going to go down naked. <laughs> He's still going. Good God. There's children outside. Oh... <laughs> Part two of Mind Your Business. <laughs> Out the back door. Hold it. Oh, yep, of course. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what did you expect? He has a gun as well. <laughs> Open that door and go inside. Oh, boy. Car. Oh damn! How did he manage? What happened to you then? Yeah, really. How did you find me, you bastard? <laughs> you knew they'd come back. All right, all right. Ooh, yeah, you got I want to square things up. with you first. Here, get yourself a course in karate. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a dick. Yeah, Jack's kind of just an asshole and just kind of uses people and whatnot. He's not the best, but the flaws of the main character. I had to tell Frank I couldn't see him anymore. They were getting too dodgy. He said he'd kill himself. Oh, wow. I was frightened what you might do. I don't believe you. Wow. Frank wasn't like that. I'm the villain in the family, remember? It's the truth. <laughs> At least he knows. The only reason I came back to this crap house was to find out who did it and i'm not oh. leaving till i do red car hello jack you bitch wow it was you who told them i was here wasn't it i <gasps> wonder if it really is like and she is lying and covering it up and whatnot who knows 
yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it could be either way. Like, Margaret could be truly lying and just feeding him lies. Or that really is the truth and he's just so determined to get revenge that he's not seeing clearly. Uh, wee! Get in! Huh. You didn't know you had a fairy godmother, did you? No, frankly. Yeah, how'd you know he was there? How did you know where I'd be? Yeah, we yeah. seen parking your car. Oh, okay. It seems you're concerned about the death of your brother. Yes. I got to thinking how nice it would be if the bloke you was after was the same bloke I wanted off my back. I can't fight them. I don't have that sort of a setup. But you can. I'm going to fix them before they fix me. Five grand. That belongs to you. Along with a little name I'm going to give you. Kinnear. Cyril Kinnear. Ah. Kinnear did it. I mean, that was... Expected, but yeah. <laughs> Do you really think I'm gonna fix Kinnear on your say so? He's got a point, but still, it's something, right? You know? Oh my god. Jack, you are a horn dog. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Aren't you scared? Kinnear will find out. He won't. Is it, um, simple? <laughs> That's interesting. So she's working for both Kinnear and Grumby? That's, I mean, this is the same girl as before, though, right? Like, where in when he went into Kinnear's, like, you know, little game of cards. But she's not actually, like, with Kinnear. Hmm. Oh, God. Is that? Oh my god. Is that his niece? Oh my god. That is weird. Stop watching, Jack. Stop watching, Jack. Hey, Jack, stop watching. Nope, 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 nope. That's messed up. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh god. Did they kill her? Is it one of Kinnear's films? Yeah. Mm. Who set it up? Eric? Yeah. Oh my god. Then he must have pulled her. Expect so. Did? Nope. Time to kill Eric. My brother, Frank, found out. What are you talking about? You lying bitch! Oh my god. The girl's name was Dory, that's all I know. Her father was my brother, and he was murdered last Sunday. Well, you know, I mean... It's not really her fault, right? He's just kind of acting on a rage. Where's Albert? I know where to find him. Okay. He's come for Albert. Okay, so she is really, yeah, so she was lying to him before. He's She's playing with him and not telling him all the truth and whatnot, so that's unfortunate. Hello, Albert. Oh, that's the dude that ran in the at the racetrack, right? I don't know anything, Jack. Yeah, okay. Is that him in the porn, too? 20 to 1, number 4, Sheba. Yeah. I didn't know who Doreen was, uh, Cliff Brumby. He'd seen the film. He wanted to meet Doreen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All connected. Now, why is Frank getting killed? That's what I'm curious about. Knew too much? Last Sunday afternoon, Eric and two of his boys arrived with Frank. They told me he'd rumbled. Somehow he'd seen the film and was about to shoot his mouth off. They asked me for some whiskey and started forcing it down his throat. I thought they'd just duff him up a bit, honest. Hmm, got it, okay. Did Eric know that Frank was my brother? Yes, yes, sir. I told him. 
What did he say? Good. Wow. Christ, I didn't kill him. I know you didn't kill him. I know. Wow. Okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah, she's in the trunk still. So it seems like Eric is the central kind of bad guy in this, right? Like, Kinnear seems pretty bad, too. Like, he does, just doesn't seem like a good person. And he's been mentioned, yeah, but I don't know. It seems like Eric is the guy that has been mostly mentioned now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, expect him to have a gun, right? Yeah. Stay where you are, Peter. Huh. Don't! Don't! <laughs> Slight delayed reaction, that's okay though. You can't use your watch! <gasps> well, there she goes. That's messed up. Well. A bloody madman! Jack. Ooh. You shouldn't have shown the film to Frank. I had to. It was the only way I could get at them. Well, you shouldn't have. They should have killed me. They killed my brother. He's dead. Oh. <sighs> and goodbye. Wow. Yep. Damn. Yeah, and probably the person in the car might have gotten hurt, too. Yeah, he's probably dead, too. He is... <sighs> Jack is just so reckless and revenge-filled and... yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Huh. Now, what is that? Come for you, yeah. Margaret. Mm-hmm. Lord, just knocking them all down. Kill every single one of them who was involved. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Now listen carefully, you hairy-faced git. I've got the film and enough evidence to put you away for a long time. I'll do a simple deal with you. All I want... He probably wants Eric. I think that can be arranged. But I don't want him there until six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I mean, Kinnear's gonna throw him under the bus immediately. So he's like, all right, there you go. Take your clothes off. Take your oh clothes off. God, okay. This is a completely different side of Michael Caine than I've ever seen in any movie that I've watched. The many roles, the many... Personalities that he can play. Wow. He's gonna make her, I guess, OD. Unless it's just like a poison in the syringe. Yeah, I guess it's like poison. Okay. He's dead already. I want you to listen very carefully. Who the hell are you watching? Jack Carter. Yes. Do you know what he looks like? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another J. Who the hell are you? That's the dude you were just watching on the little TV. Okay. This is going to be a bit of an explosive ending. <laughs> Police. Is he gonna blame him for Margaret's death? Oh, okay. No, no, no. He, it's here. Okay. I thought he was setting him uh, up. Damn, what'd you tell him? Huh. I still think they're gonna find Margaret, though. 
think I just saw her actually. Was that her? Okay, no, it was her. That's that's who I saw in the yeah. Yeah, <laughs> time to go. Damn, yeah, still set him up either way. Good. Yeah, not um, <laughs> not much place to go. Damn. Uh, a decent effort. Sorry, buddy. Good try. Drink up. I want you to drink all of that. Yep, yeah, gonna make him do it. Just, just like, like he was. did. Yep, just with like he did brother. with his brother. Yep, yep, yep. Did you all have a good laugh? Hey? Did you have a good laugh when he was spewing it out? Hey? <coughs> Goodbye! Damn. Oh, yep. Wonder where that goes. Probably a furnace of some sort. Oh, into the water. I didn't even, I thought it was going, okay. I thought it was going somewhere in there. I'm dumb, whatever. <laughs> I wonder all the water is so gray and such. I, was, I didn't even notice that I was going in the water. Oh, shit. Wow. Damn. I immediately forgot about that man right after he was called. Wow. Well, he did his job. He did what he wanted to do. He got revenge on pretty much... Actually, I think everybody that wronged his brother. So, what an end. What, what a way to go out, right? <laughs> and I think it was an appropriate end to him. Again, he did everything he needed to do. I mean, that was it. He was gonna just, I guess, continue on with his life uh, anyway, in whatever way. The only other sort of, like, connection he seemed to have was with his niece Doreen so but other than that I mean yeah I'm not saying that like oh yeah I guess he's better off dead but I guess just with his story and with his character and just how everything unfolded the way that he did th that it did uh I guess that is the appropriate ending for him you know this is pretty good though I mean I I, I did enjoy it overall I think it was definitely a very slow burn type of film a lot of setup like a lot of setup and a lot of just you know, things that just took their time, uh, whether it just be with character building and setting up the situation and all of that, it was very slow in that way. Not a bad thing, but I did notice that. I didn't feel like I was watching forever, so that's good. So, like, it was slow in that good way. But, you know, it was definitely just a very big sort of, all right, right, let's we're, we're slowly... The, the the snowball is slowly rolling down the hill, you know? But hey, I mean, really, these last, like, 20, 30 minutes was just... that That's where the action is, and I guess usually that's... With films like these, uh, it's kind of where the action really is. But when I started to pick up like that, it was definitely more like, Ooh, all right, here we go. <laughs> this guy is really just killing everybody, and... All right, yeah, that's that's what he's got to do. <laughs> he's not a good person. He's not, you know, he was, this was truly a revenge film. Like, you killed my brother. And you made a porno with my niece, who I'm pretty sure is under 18. Uh, so, you know, in Jack's mind, didn't matter that he was not informed about that. It, it, it That was with a lot of the characters that he killed. It's like, oh, you were involved and that's all that matters. That's it. You're dead. You know, it doesn't matter that it was like your fault or like you knew about. No, you're dying and that's it. So that was just his, you know, his his way. <laughs> he was messy, but didn't get caught until, I mean, right at the end where this guy just sniped him to oblivion. Uh, He was sporadic and, you know, kind of messy in that way, but still didn't get caught. 
Uh, and he was just angry. You know, he just kind of went on a rampage. And it definitely got worse over the course of this movie, especially within, you know, the last even, you know, few minutes of him killing Eric in the way that he did. So, so no, not necessarily a likable character, but hey, it, it, this was pretty entertaining overall. <laughs> so yeah, despite it being a very slow burn sort of movie, I did enjoy myself overall, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to like it, and if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at OGB Reacts. I'm mainly over on Twitter, but I'm also on Instagram and TikTok as well. So yeah, a big buildup overall when it was crazy, it was crazy. I thought it was pretty well done overall. Michael Caine's character is definitely someone I have not seen him play. So that was a whole other thing as well. And yeah, I like this overall. With that, really do hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction, and I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Yoki doki, toodaloo, adios, and goodbye. Bye.